right, so the next step that we're going to be doing is, like I said, you're creating a um, paint by numbers picture all by yourself, um, which is really neat. So once you have finished tracing all of the different shapes, and remember you're making lots of weird shapes um, in order to get your dog to look as realistic as possible. Because when a photo, you know, a camera um, on your phone or um, a regular camera takes a photograph, it takes in all those different shadows and it makes them different shapes. So no shape is perfect and um, everything's organic and different, meaning it's not like a perfect triangle, it's a free-flowing shape. Um, so it's going to look weird, but once you start painting it, it's going to look fantastic. So the next step that you're going to do is figure out, looking at your value chart, where these numbers go on your picture. So you're going to look at your picture that you have of your pet, and you're going to decide, hmm, is there anywhere that the zero, you know, fits, like the lightest color on here? Probably inside this eye area here, the little reflection, I would have that as my zero, you know? So I'm very lightly going to do a zero for myself and where those little highlights are. But sometimes it's also easier to think about the dark. So that's my next step. I'm going to look at my number 10. I have a lot of areas that probably are the darkest, right? So the darkest, darkest, darkest is probably like this neck area here. I'm going to write the number 10 there. I have, you know, inside the nostrils, probably a number 10, right? Um, so you're just going to kind of look at the darkest. Probably here is a 10 too. And this big area or chunk all the way down that I drew, this whole area is probably a 10, right? And then I want to start thinking about some of the lighter areas. Now this isn't as dark as these areas here. So maybe this is more of a 9. I'm going to put a 9 inside his eyebrow. And this eyebrow is more of a 9, you know. You're making the guesses. The goal is, is you don't want to have a lot of tens and a lot of zeros unless your dog um, is white, then you're probably going to have more of these areas. And then if your dog is darker, you're probably going to be in the five through tens, but having a couple of these is perfect. So what I mean by that is, you know, the three doesn't really quite fit in certain areas, but it's good to have some lighter. Like up here, that area could be a three. Why not? I'll have that be my three. The three continues here. You know, on the very tippy top up here, maybe this is a two because it's got some light up here and this could be, um, maybe I'll make this one a one, you know? So slowly work on getting your areas numbered and just try to play with that idea. One thing that I wanted to mention is as I was going through this, I would notice that I made different shapes because I saw different shadows. And sometimes it's really hard to look and go, well, these two areas here look very similar, but to make it stand out a little differently, instead of going 999 nine, nine, and having it all be one color because I did different shapes, I did the color next to it. Like eight and nine are very similar but it'll give it that little tiny difference. So if you have a different shape, just look and be like, oh, you know what, this is a nine, it's close, I'll just do a number eight. And I found that as I went through, it gets tiring looking back and forth and trying to decide and pick. So I did some of the larger areas first, and then um, when it comes time to painting, which is our next step, we're gonna paint by mixing those colors and painting all of the ones done, all of the zeros, and work your way up. If the areas that you left 
that you just got tired of trying to fill in like I didn't fill in here or the collar yet or exactly some of these other areas start with the ones that you've labeled because it's going to take us a couple classes and then you can kind of see hey what I picked is it working is it not working and that way it just makes it a little bit easier on you so those are my tips and tricks as you're working on this all right, so now comes the fun part. So I'm going to look and using my brush, and you can also use smaller brushes if you really want. Um, I'm going to start with my zero. So I have some areas that are my zero, and I'm just going to paint over my design areas that I have with the zero. I realize some of these finer tip areas, maybe I will grab a different brush. Okay. So if you need to have two brushes, that's fine, as long as you clean them at the very end of class. So my areas that are my zero, you know, um, I still have my picture by me, but I'm going to start painting my trusting of myself. Um, and as you'll see, the reason I wanted you to draw light with your pencil at first is so you don't see, um, like say, your zero coming through, which as the paint dries, you can always add another layer on top of it. So those were a couple areas where my zeros were. And then um, it's always sometimes easier to just go directly into black if you really want. Um, if you have some of those areas to make that big difference. So I'm just going to dip my brush in the black. And paint some of my spots. And this is basically all you're going to be doing is mixing your colors like we practiced um, and just you know obviously not you don't need a lot of paint but you're going to be painting your areas that you have your black now this is the one spot I was noticing so see this is a different shape and I have this is a 10 and this is a 10 I might just so I don't get it lost where it looks flat or different I might make this a 9 here so that's what I meant, is you might change what you labeled as you go. You might go, you know what, I don't want that all. It's a big area that's looking all black. I don't want that. And your dog or cat will start coming together really cool as you start painting your paint by numbers that you made. And I'm just doing slight dips. So when you're ready, to go, remember how to mix your paint colors. I'm going to go down this area here a little bit more. So I know I jumped right into from the whites to the blacks, but if I was going to mix my other colors, say I really wanted to make a seven, I would look back at what's my seven on here, and I would start with white, and I'd have some a tiny bit of black, and I'd mix it. And then I'm going to start looking and going, hmm, where's this color look? It looks more over here. Oh, I made a number one-ish. Maybe I could paint a number one as I'm making and find a spot that has a number one. You know, you could do it that way and just kind of mix as you go and paint that way as you go. It just kind of helps give it a little something. Um, and then keep building. So I know this is my number one here. Don't worry about covering your pencil because that's kind of what our goal is, is we're covering so you don't see where your designs are. Um, and then you just slowly keep building up. So here I already have some pre-made, but remember you just keep adding a little bit of black and it gets darker. This looks more like maybe more my seven than my eight. I can kind of see that and um, you'll play with it as you go. So this would be my seven and I paint my seven here. And usually when you make a color, just keep painting all the sevens as you can and um, that way it's just easier to go so you're not constantly mixing. You want to just get all of it done at one time, make the next darker shade, and that way you just see your your animals start coming to life a little bit more. So I hope that helps you.
If you want, um, my only other thing, I know I keep sharing little things as I go, um, instead of jumping all around, if that bothers you, start in one area and finish that area. So maybe for class today, I really want to focus on getting this ear done. And then I really want to focus on getting these bigger areas done because I think it'll make me feel better. You can easily do that. Um, I might, you know, if you want to start having half the face coming together, maybe you do half that and that's what you know you focus on. So do what makes sense for you.